Hi, this is Mahron from Numerous, and this is video is about how you can use Numerous for categorization or classification. So let's say you run a sushi restaurant, like our example here, and you have a bunch of reviews, like, you know, the freshest of the fish, our server Naomi, we picked up dinner, and, you know, we have a ton of reviews, but you don't want to go through every single one of them and categorize what the review is about. Like, you want to figure out what the reviews are about, but you don't want to go through every single one, one by one by hand. So... There's a tool where Numerous is perfect, so you can go and you open Numerous, and you show sidebar. Um, and here on the sidebar, you see a list of things you can do with Numerous. We'll just focus on classification now. Uh, I'll make a video about other, other stuff later. Um, so you go to classify, and okay, so it basically gives you a template that you have to fill out. So it's like classify the restaurant reviews, restaurant review in column, so the rooms are in column A, based on, I don't know, the subject into one of the following cat groups. So, you know, you go look at the reviews, one is about the food, one is about the service, the other is about takeout. So, you know, let's just call those the different categories. So, the food, the service, and takeout. And you pick the cell where you want to put the classification in, you just go and click place classification in B2. And so, you know, what it does is this template generates a chat GPT prompt where it's like classified the restaurant review and the cell reference based on subject as yada, yada, yada. So it just generates this like handy chat GPT prompt, which I'll talk about in a bit. But simply, you can then drag down this prompt, this equals AI function. And, you know, given that the whole thing is a text except for the cell reference, by dragging it down, you just like, you know, use it on apply to different cells. And so, yeah, so that's what happens. And it works pretty well. These all seem correct to me. But the thing is that this only made this prompt for you. And then you're completely flexible to change your prompt however you want. Like, let's say you want to change the options here. Or like, I don't know, something as simple as like, uh, your response must be in uppercase. And, you know, you can simply tell it that and it does it. And you can just drag it again and you know it responds in upper case you can like, change the prompt however you want but you know basically the template on the sidebar guides you into how to do the prompting and you can change it later if you're not fully satisfied or you want something different so that's one way that you can use numerous for classification the other way is through the equals infer function which is just like any other formula in excel or google sheets um and I really like this function. So how it works is basically you're giving it examples of what like transformation or what action you want to take to cells and it follows that pattern and continues it. So, okay, so you say this review is about the food, about the fish, this review is about the service, this review is about takeout. And then what you can do is you press equals infer. By the way, the sidebar doesn't have to be open, this is just like a guide. Or like the sidebar has to be open, like you don't have to be on the infer page because it's just a guide on how to do it, um, and you give it the example inputs, so the reviews that you have categorized, the example outputs, which is the categorizations for the reviews that you've categorized, and then you give it the input that you want to you know, apply the same action, to apply the same like input-output sequence to this review subject uh, sequence. And you close that formula, and you can simply drag it down, and it just follows the same pattern that you were giving it here and continues it down. So uh, three reviews working out, three examples working out well is like, you know, it's probably the average number, but the more, the better. Just gotta kinda play around with it, get a feel for it. But yeah, this was a short video on how you can use numerous for classification and categorization. Thank you very much.